ദൈവത്തിന്റെ ഭരണത്തിന്റെ കീഴിലേ ദൈവാരാധന at the appointed time all such questions will be answered if you have patience before you make any covenant or friendship with anyone take holy spirit with you jalathalum aathmavinalum janikkunnillengil oru venum devarajyathil praveshikkuka sadhyamalla let us read exodus chapter 20 chapter 33 from 15 This is the prayer of Moses the prophet. Let's begin this session with this prayer of Moses the prophet. This is Exodus chapter 33 verses from 15. Exodus 33 from 15. Together let us look onto the screen we read together and he said to him If your presence will not go do not carry us up from here prophet moses is begging the lord if your presence what's the presence of the lord it is holy spirit to be with us permanently if your presence will not go not carry us up from here then 16 for how shall it be known that i have found favor in you, in your sight I and your people unless you go with us in this way we shall be distinct I and your people from every people on the face of the earth then verse 17 the lord said to moses i will do the very thing that you have asked for you have found favor in my sight i know you by name sisters and brothers this is our prayer as we begin this retreat lord please find favor with us please find favor with us and do give us your presence that is the holy spirit without your holy spirit how can we become distinct how can we overcome sin how can we become a new person a new creation sisters and brothers as we begin this retreat for the pentecost let us pray for this presence of the lord to come with us and let us be earnestly desire from the bottom of our hearts i will not leave this place i will not stop attending this retreat i will not stop worshiping you unless you find favor with me unless you find favor with me and Un- unless you bless me sisters and brothers when we s- speak about the holy spirit he is the more you thirst for him the more he comes to you this is ezekiel chapter 47 from one we read holy spirit is symbolized as a river then he brought me back to the entrance of the temple there water was flowing from below the threshold of the temple toward the east for the temple faced east and the water was flowing down from below the south end of the threshold of the temple south of the altar then verse 2 then he brought me out by the way of north gate and led me around on the outside to the outer gate that faces toward the east and the water was coming out on the south side then verse 3 going on the eastward with a cord on his hand the man measured 1000 cubits and then led me through the water and it was ankle deep sisters and brothers as we are preparing for a new pentecost the lord is asking you how much you wanted to come close to me this is now just the ankle deep the lord is leading prophet ezekiel to experience the power of the holy spirit then we read now verse 6 verse 6 we read He said to me mortal have you seen this then he led me back along the bank of the river he is taking verse 5 also let us read again he measured 1000 and it was a river that could not cross for the water had risen it was deep enough to swim in a river that could not be crossed now the lord is leading this prophet ezekiel 
to a river he did not know he just started the journey and it was the water was then just knee the angle deep then it became the knee deep then it became at the at the height of the waist then he saw a, a river sisters and brothers we have received holy spirit through baptism then with the holy confirmation we are being anointed with the gifts fruits and charisms of the holy spirit again the lord is telling us come more deeper come more close come more close to me and you will experience a river that means you cannot just cross this river you cannot just contain the power of this spirit if you give everything if you surrender everything unto me and we read this is now verse 8 what is happening in this verse 8 this prophet got such an experience he said to me this water flows toward the eastern region and goes down into the araba and when it enters the sea the sea of stagnant waters the water become fresh what happens when this water that comes from the temple when it enters the sea the sea of stagnant waters will become fresh today as you listen to me what is the power of a re or a new anointing a fresh anointing of pentecost sisters and brothers this is going to make people around you people in your family people in your company people in your workplace fresh they will all receive that grace from you because that power will flow from you when you receive the power and the anointing of the holy spirit you become a true blessing do you want to be a new a blessing for others we cannot do that without holy spirit and when you receive this anointing of the holy spirit that's why we should know you can just be satisfied when you are in the water for angle deep knee deep at the uh, height of your waist you can stop many people stop because they say no i am i am prayerful i go to church but there is something called you cannot cross an anointing without swimming there is an anointing greater anointing double portion of anointing where not just you the people surrounding you will also feel the power the grace that you have the anointing of the holy spirit verse 12 what happens with this new pentecostal experience on the banks on both sides of the river there will grow all kinds of trees for food their leaves will not wither nor their fruit fail but they will bear fresh fruit every month because the water for them flows from the sanctuary their fruit will be for food and their leaves for healing remember you become you will be able to quench the thirst of many is not just with water those who are filled and anointed by the holy spirit the small single words they use will become a words for consolation and whatever they do and even the leaves it will bring healing that means a person who has a new and a fresh anointing of the holy spirit will become a powerful instrument in the hand of the lord let's just take the life of prophet daniel who was he he became a powerful instrument he became a powerful instrument he could receive he became a favorite of god we read in daniel chapter 9 verse from 21 21 onwards how he is he started to pray he became a prayer warrior he became an intercessor he became a prophet he be- he was just a small little boy when the holy spirit came upon him while i was speaking in prayer this is daniel when daniel was speaking in prayer the man gabriel whom i had seen before in a vision see this daniel had the gift of dreams gift of interpretation of dreams gift of vision and what happens he saw even the angels coming to him coming flying to him in his evening sacrifice that means he never stop praying then was 22 what did this angel told him he came and said to me daniel i have now come out to give you wisdom and understanding 
these are free gifts wisdom knowledge understanding fortitude fear of god piety counsel sisters and brothers he was received these gifts not only that was 23 at the beginning of your supplication a word went out and i have come to declare it for you are greatly beloved so consider the word and understand the vision now what did these angels are just giving the communication of god the same way god told moses when moses prayed in accordance with god's heart god's will the lord told him you have found favor with me and i will do the very thing that you have asked me now daniel has prayed and the lord is telling a message that this daniel is my greatly beloved child this is what the angel is coming and telling sisters and brothers if we have to do something in accordance with god's will we need the power the anointing of the holy spirit if you really thirst if you are really asking you will become and not only that daniel started to plead for god's mercy when susanna was being handed over to be killed this boy shouted i have no part in the death in the innocent blood of this innocent woman there were so many educated people lawyers advocates but daniel was a boy he was operated through the holy spirit through wisdom knowledge understanding this is what the lord wants to give us during this pentecost retreat and remember this is a free gift this is a free gift and with this gift what happens acts 20 to 14 exactly what the lord told paul when he was being converted the lord is telling him acts of the apostles chapter 22 verse 14 and we'll all be able to get this 22 14 we'll all people will ask can god speak even as you are listening somebody was severe back pain lower back pain the lord is healing someone somebody with a lungs infection with this corona you can't even breathe properly the lord is healing you because the spirit of the lord has filled this earth is moving is touching you wherever you are the scripture says then he said the god of our ancestors has chosen you to know his will so sisters and brothers it is easy and it is it is possible to know the will of god so there are people who who ask how do how do i know the will of god it is through the holy spirit you will be able to know god's will then to see the righteous one can we see god we can to see the righteous one in the vision in mysterious way in the old testament it was not possible now it is possible because god became a human and is possible to see him if you have listened to testimonies even that of non christians some muslims hindus they had though they were not christians jesus appeared to them and at once they could find it is their god it is jesus and it, it happens then to see the righteous one and to hear his own voice to hear his own voice so when the holy spirit comes to you he will choose you as his instrument and when you are being chosen you will be able to know god's will then you will be able to see him then you will be able to hear his voice because our god unlike any other god he speaks he is alive and he can come to you he can give you directions about your life about the life partner you are supposed to choose about the things that are going to happen there are so many testimonies in that way god will tell them what will happen i know one family that they were childless so they went and prayed and in the prayer the lord told them i will bless you with a child and it will be a boy and you have to name this boy in this particular name like joshua and sisters and brothers in the exact way the lord gave them a boy and they named them joshua it is the lord who spoke to them it happens through the holy spirit sisters and brothers so in this pentecost retreat you we are all baptized 
that means holy spirit is also already inside you even if we are not baptized we should know that we are all born of the spirit we are all born with the help and with the life of the holy spirit and we are personally personalizing as we get baptism and as we get the holy confirmation we are being baptized and we are getting the power of the holy spirit and in order to make this holy spirit active in our life what what's important in our life is to be open open to the holy spirit we have to be open to the holy spirit and we should keep on praying like whatever may be our difficulty we should have such a great affiliation with the holy spirit we read this is in two chronicles where there's an incident in the life of jehoshaphat the king his kingdom was in great difficulty two chronicles chapter 20 from 1 we read two chronicles chapter 20 from 1 after this the moabites and ammonites and with them some of the moabites came against jehoshaphat for battle see three kingdoms three armies coming against one king jehoshaphat was two messengers came and told jehoshaphat a great multitude is coming against you from edom from beyond the sea already they are at hasason tamar now we read what did this prophet this king did this is verse 6 verse 6 answered he started to pray jehoshaphat he knelt down he bent low he prayed o lord god of our ancestors are you not god in heaven do you not rule over all the kingdoms of the nations in your hand are power and might so that no one is able to withstand you then we read verse 12 he prayed it then what happens o oh, our god will you not execute judgment upon them for we are powerless against this great multitude that is coming against us we do not know what to do but our eyes are on you sisters and brothers we are surrounded by covid 19 we are surrounded by this corona virus we can see our own people our relatives our coworkers some of them have already died some are in sick bed some are in icu some are in the ventilator and we don't know we are afraid when this sickness is going to affect us and we have come to know without even looking at age whether you are sick whether you are old whether you are young whether you are a small infant this virus can affect anybody and we don't know who will survive anyone can lose life anyone can come back to life it is mysteriously spreading all across and we come to know it is i an invisible enemy it's like a multitude coming against you and you don't know what to do in this war but you should know you have a god above you you have a spirit of power this king he's a king but now he is kneeling down he makes himself humble and he is just praying oh our god will you not execute judgment upon them for we are powerless the moment you say lord i am powerless and the power is the only power of the holy spirit there is no other power and we say we are powerless against this great multitude against this corona virus that's coming against me that's coming against us we do not know what to do we don't know what to do what to turn but our eyes are on you today as you are here in this pentecost retreat you are declaring the only source of joy that you have the only power that you can expect is from the lord the only help that you can get is from the lord not from any word and we re- we understand when king along with his people they started to cry out to the lord and declaring that we are powerless we are nothing without the lord and our eyes are on the lord we read immediately the spirit came was 13 upon an ordinary man we re- rem- we read meanwhile all judah stood before the lord with their little ones their wives and their children today as you are sitting or standing or attending in this live stream online pentecost retreat as you are praying making yourself humble meanwhile 
they stood was 14 we read then the spirit of the lord came upon jehaziel son of sakaria son of benaya son of jael son of matanaya a levite of the sons of asaf in the middle of the assembly they are just praising and worshiping and making themselves humble and they are praying unto the lord sorry for the interruption the battery just went low uh, we continue then the spirit of the lord came upon jehaziel son of sakaria son of benaya son of jael son of matanaya now when king jehoshaphat is praying in front of the assembly with the people a king is making himself humble and praying on his knees immediately holy spirit came upon jehaziel holy spirit came upon god's people and now what they started to say say now an army is waiting outside but they are praying and what happened was 15 15 we read he said listen all judah and inhabitants of jerusalem and king jehoshaphat thus says the lord to you now they are start prophesying do not fear or be dismayed at this great multitude for the battle is not yours but god's see when you pray in your difficulty in this corona crisis time when you pray the lord takes over the holy spirit takes over the holy spirit takes now i will take charge now i will deal with this virus now i will solve this problem sisters and brothers wherever you are maybe your son is in prison in zambia maybe your son is in prison in america or in canada or in uk maybe there are difficulties maybe their journey is blocked maybe some kind of difficulties are there when you pray as we have this live stream we get so many testimonies a mother sent a testimony from pune that her son was been blocked in rajasthan because he was doing studies with this lockdown but when she started to participate in this praise and worship in this lockdown period in this live stream her son got a mysterious means to a transport to come and join her at home see when you praise and worship when you make yourself humble when you seek the lord immediately what happens is that holy spirit takes charge this jehaziel is telling listen do not fear or be dismayed at this great multitude for the battle is not yours the lord is in charge now verse 16 tomorrow go down against them they will come up by the ascent of sis you will find them at the end of the valley before the wilderness of jeruel was 17 they are giving all the details where they will come how they will come the spirit is speaking to them this battle is not for you to fight take your position stand still and see the victory of the lord on your on your behalf o judah and jerusalem do not fear or be dismayed tomorrow go out against them and the lord will be with you sisters and brothers how can the lord be with you when you praise when you honor when you invite the lord that entire place the spirit comes bondages will break when you praise what happens this is uh, psalm 223 when you praise when you pray when you worship especially when you praise and worship and honor the lord yet you are holy enthroned on the praises of israel 
the moment you praise you honor you invoke the lord he comes and that place becomes a throne for god to be enthroned is equal to making preparing a very a holy and very good chair for the lord he cannot just remain in heaven he will come and sit and be present in the midst of praises and worship in the midst of prayer because matthew 18:20 he himself promised matthew 18:20 he he himself promised where two or three are gathered in my name i am there among them the moment he comes so in this corona crisis in this difficulty the holy spirit is inviting us to pray and he is promising he will be there and we need to pray not just for a little anointing as if we become a blessing a powerful mighty instrument and our presence itself will transform others heal others and they will get mighty powerful feelings of god's presence i do remember i heard this testimony from father george panakel he was telling about when we praise the lord when we worship the lord to invite the holy spirit what happens that place itself becomes the dwelling place of god a mother he gave a testimony of a mother a single mother she was so upset with her only son who was into alcoholism drug abuse he was not listening to anything that the mother says he always comes late home he is always roaming around with friends he is so disappointed he is uh, uh, destroying his own life through alcohol drug abuse whenever mother says something he will get angry as if he hates his mother he is tired of his son he cannot she cannot advise him he will not get he will not obey so this mother with all these difficulties she attended a retreat and she has noticed one thing whenever the praise and worship was going on she has found that that place entire place has she felt a lot of power she even had severe back pain for so many years she got healed whenever the priests and the praise and worship team the choir members they all praise and the entire community is worshiping the lord she could feel something is happening there the power of the holy spirit is so much that the people are moving in the spirit they get healing they get manifested she could feel the presence of the lord when the praises were going on so she came to know one thing the way to bless my son is to let him or me myself praise the lord and her son was keeping lot of alcohol drugs cigarettes filthy things filthy magazines in his room she cannot even enter that room such a dirty room with all these things now one day this mother after attending the retreat decided to get inside this room and she started to praise and worship in a very loud voice in the room when the sun has gone in the night outside for drinking for partying to to stay with some girlfriends now this mother entered inside the room and she started to praise and worship lord i thank you i praise you jesus i thank you i praise you father i thank you i praise you holy spirit i thank you and i praise you let your holy name be honored hallelujah 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 she continued praising and worshiping more than one and a half hours she continued it for 2 3 weeks one day the son came inside the room and he just started because he was always sleeping outside now when he came in and dead inside the room he started to cry he started to cry so bitterly he could not control his tears and he started to say i'm a sinner i have hurt my god how could i do all these things i have hurt my god i have offended my god he just started to cry when the mother came she could not believe her son who always gets angry he's like a small baby kneeling down lifting his hands and crying and crying then the mother asked what happened to you son then he said i can feel the presence of god i can feel the presence of god the lord is god's presence is is telling making me to cry because i am not holy i am unworthy i want to make a confession i have to see a priest i have to become a new person 
Remember the mother did not advise him. The mother did not tell him anything. When, when she praised and worshipped, that entire room became a dwelling place of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit led, them, led him to repent. This is exactly what we read in Isaiah chapter 6 from 2. Isaiah 6 from 2. Prophet Isaiah is seeing a profound vision that seraphs were in attendance above him. Each had six wings, with two they covered their faces, and with two they covered their feet, and with two they flew. This is the vision of seraphs. Then what do they do? Verse 3. What they were doing? And one called to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts, and the whole earth is full of his glory. So he saw prophet Isaiah had a heavenly vision of angels praising and worshipping the Lord, saying, Holy, holy, holy. Now, when the praise and worship is going on, verse 4, what's exactly happening? The pivots on the thresholds shook at the voice of those who called. So such powerful was the praise and worship and the house filled with the smoke. There was presence of God. Then verse 5. Immediately when the presence of the Lord came, I said, woe is me. I'm lost for I'm a man of unclean lips and I live among a people of unclean lips. Yet my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Sisters and brothers, when we praise and worship, when we acknowledge the Lord, when we acknowledge God's presence, and when we worship the Lord, He is going to appear to you. And His presence, the first fruit of God's presence is conversion, repentance. The Lord is also healing someone with the right hand shoulder pain as you are listening to the word of God. Sisters and brothers, even when we listen, even when you listen to the word of God, there is presence of the Lord. Because Psalm 107 verse 20, Psalm 107 verse 20, we read, He sent the word and healed the sick. He sent out his word and healed them and delivered them from destruction. Now, maybe you are in this difficulty, you have a lot of fear because this coronavirus is spreading all over. But remember, when you praise and worship the Lord, he himself said, this battle is not yours to battle. The Lord himself will take charge and the Holy Spirit will take over. And when the Holy Spirit comes, and you should know, for the Holy Spirit, to invite the Holy Spirit, the first and foremost way is Praise and worship the Lord. There is no greater, a greater sacrifice than praise and worship. Psalm 50 verse 14. Psalm 50 verse 14. We read, What is an acceptable sacrifice? Offer to God. The scripture says, Offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving and pay your vows to the Most High. Offer to God. What the Lord is asking us to offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving. See, when you have this sickness, when you are in the sick bed, when you are maybe in a death bed, when you are in the ventilator, can you just say thanks to the Lord? Can you just repeatedly say, Lord, I thank you, I praise you, I worship you, I honor you. And when you give thanks to the Lord, his presence will come. Prophet Isaiah, when he entered into the praise and worship, he could immediately see the presence of God. This presence of God will convert. There are many mothers who are attending this retreat. You are very concerned about your children. Their behavior. Their ingratitude. Their unfaithfulness. Their unbelief. They don't even believe in God. They don't want to hear anything about God. They may not even want to go to church. And you are distressed. You don't know how to influence your children. The way to influence them. Give thanks to the Lord. For your children. One day one mother came and she was telling about her daughter who is in a wrong relationship, who was not going to church. She was always into a kind of going to clubs and pubs, wasting her time, her life, and she's refusing even to get married. Now, we asked this mother, you are very worried about your daughter, but how did your child was born? Is there any miracle? Then she said, Father, my daughter is a miracle child. And we asked her, Did you ever tell your daughter that how she was born? Because she was childless for more than 13 years. 
she attended a retreat the lord intervened thais the way her daughter was born and we told her if the lord can give you a child even when you are childless even the doctor said it was not possible and the lord can give you he the lord can convert your your daughter what you need to do offer a sacrifice offer thanksgiving to the lord that's a sacrifice again psalm chapter 50 was 23 psalm chapter 50 was 23 we read what kind of offering that the lord is expecting from us those who bring thanksgiving as a sacrifice on me there are different type of sacrifices there are different type of sacrifices but can you offer thanksgiving as a sacrifice they honor me and to those who go the right way i will show the salvation of god so you will have the experience of the salvation when you give glory to god even in your difficult time this is exactly what paul and silas did when you become see when you get this anointing of the holy spirit through praise and worship you become an instrument now prophet isaiah the first thing he praised and worshiped the lord and the second thing he had the presence of god the third thing he felt conversion he felt he is a sinner the third thing he got a new vocation this is isaiah chapter 2 was 6 26 immediately after this incident what is happened uh, isaiah chapter 6 was 8 sorry chapter 6 was 8 6 was 8 then i heard a voice of the lord saying whom shall i send and who will go for us and i said here i am send to me sisters and brothers the moment we give glory to god we acknowledge we praise and worship his presence comes in when we are in his presence the second step is we feel repented and the third step holy spirit will anoint us give us a new mission this is acts of the apostles chapter 2 was 38 peter while he was preaching they were so touched now from 37 let us read from 37 while peter was preaching about jesus they heard it and they were cut to the heart they were cut to the heart and said to peter brothers what should we do now what we are supposed to do to have a new pentecostal experience to have the anointing of the holy spirit to have a fresh anointing a fresh commissioning maybe a double portion of an uh, anointing most of you as you are attending this retreat you are already maybe in the ministry you are in the preaching ministry you are in the healing ministry now you want to get something new you want to get a new experience a tangible experience of the holy spirit peter is telling them verse 38 what they have to do peter said to them repent first step repent then be baptized in the name of jesus christ third renounce satan everything that's evil the fourth thirst and you will receive the holy spirit sisters and brothers now it the repentance the before the step of repentance is praise and worship now paul and silas this is acts of the apostles chapter 16 from 25 paul, what do they do they were inside the prison they had nothing to praise and worship the lord they have nothing to sing uh, psalms about midnight Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to the to God where inside the prison they were praising and worshiping and the prisoners were listening to them see they are actually they are inside the prison they have nothing to praise so it's a sacrifice it is a said it's a sacrifice of thanksgiving it's a thanksgiving sacrifice that they are praising and worshiping now what is happening verse 26 as they were praising and worshiping suddenly there was an earthquake so violent that the foundations of the prison were shaken and immediately all the doors were opened and everyone's chains were unfastened now when they were praising and worshiping there was an earthquake 
tangible presence whenever we praise and worship the lord the lord comes there as we have seen he is enthroned in the in the praises he is being seated in the praises of his people god's presence were visible inside the present now we should know actually they are free even inside the present they have not escaped but the wardens the jailers thought they are already gone so they wanted to commit suicide then they said no we have not gone we cannot just leave this place until our mission is accomplished now we read verse 30 they are asking they are asking then he brought them was uh, from uh, they are asking sirs what must i do to be saved actually who was supposed to ask it paul and silas are supposed to ask the pres- the jailers the wardens the wardens who are uh, the soldiers can you help us how we can be saved but see here what happens the soldiers are asking the prisoners how can we be saved and they said the famous statement 31 believe in the lord jesus you and your family will be saved you and your household then was 32 the new mission they got they spoke the word of the lord to him and to all who were in his house sisters and brothers Paul and Silas what they started to do they started to praise and worship the first thing they praised and worship then the second thing they felt the presence of the lord and the third thing they got converted the people around them got converted they are asking them what we can do and the fourth thing they started to preach the word of god today sisters and brothers as we are preparing for a new pentecost is a new anointing most of you have already attended several retreats but at least few of you have never attended retreats maybe this is the first time ever you are listening to the word of god to the preachings of the word of god but you have to know that the moment the first thing whatever wherever you are whatever may be your situation the lord wants us to praise and worship the lord there comes the presence of god prophet jeremiah chapter 33 from 1 on verse we read how did this prophet jeremiah got different visions of the lord we read jeremiah 33 from 1 what he was doing the word of the lord came to jeremiah a second time while he was still confined in the court of the god where court of the god means he was in the prison when even inside the prison when jeremiah was inside the prison he started to praise and worship he started to acknowledge the lord and there inside the prison came the word of god verse 2 thus says the lord god who made the earth the lord who formed it and to establish it the lord is his name then verse 3 this is one of the most important scriptures call to me and i will answer you sisters and brothers I will tell you great and hidden things that you have not known. We should never forget. Maybe you are inside that ICU. You are inside the ventilator. You are inside the operation theater. You are in that difficult country. You are in the prison. You are maybe trapped in a situation you cannot travel. But when you acknowledge the Lord wherever you are in whatever situation you are, he will come. He said call to me and i will answer you sisters and brothers he is here with you he is healing somebody with a pain on your shoulder the collars of your shoulder even somebody with the left side pain he is healing you and somebody with a heart related problem you are using a pacemaker he is healing you as you are listening to the word of god he is telling you today we are preparing for a new pentecost and in this pentecostal experience he is telling you that whatever may be your situation your difficult type he can bring new life to you maybe you are in a hopeless situation we read in the book of job this is chapter 14 verses from 7 job chapter 14 verses from 7 we read for there is hope for a tree for there is hope for a tree if it is cut down and it will sprout again and that its shoots will not cease see maybe you you are jobless now you have no money you have no food you are in such a difficult situation 
but the lord is telling still there is hope if you are being led by the spirit was 8 was 8 we read though its root grows old in the earth and its stump dies in the ground though its roots grows old and its stump dies in the ground was 9 yet at the scent of water it will bud and put forth branches like a young plant at the scent of water what does it mean holy spirit rain down or oh, holy spirit come and rain down we are seeking asking the holy spirit to come upon us and we'll have this next session with father joseph let us ask this holy spirit to come maybe you feel hopeless so desperate you don't know what to do you are so so much trouble with your children whatever the situation holy spirit can change your life you just have to praise and worship the lord in your difficult situation and wherever you are don't just limit with a small experience with a water that is been coming to you with your ankle deep or your knee deep no you have to have the anointing as if you cannot cross it without swimming that means you have to be covered completely by the power of the holy spirit so we are asking the holy spirit to rain down on you from your head to the bottom all your body your entire body your entire soul mind and heart oh holy spirit come and take over my life i want to become a new person i want to praise and worship you i want to feel your presence and i want to repent of all my hidden sins and i want to become your instrument and i have to tell you lord send me send me wherever you are here i am i am your servant lord give me a new grace give me a new anointing lord